Hello, welcome to our channel. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the shapes of the orbitals. Okay, and this is lecture number six. Okay, now let us start about our discussion. Before we begin our lesson, you can subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon, like, share, and comment. Okay, and your comment is very much essential to us so that we can improve our, a lot in providing educational content. Okay, now let us start about our discussion. That is the shapes of the orbitals. So what is meant by orbital? So in the previous lesson also we have discussed these orbitals are present in the subshells. Okay. So this is the rough model. So if you see this rough model of the atom, if you see here the center one is the nucleus. Around the nucleus you can see the shells. Okay, shell n is equal to one, n is equal to two, n is equal to three, and also n is equal to four. So these are the things that you can see. And each and every shell has a subshell. If you see the n is equal to one shell, it has one uh, one subshell, and uh, n is equal to two has a two subshell that is s and p. N is equal to three has a three subshells s, p, and d, and n is equal to four has a four subshells. Okay, s, p, d, and f. So these are the uh, sub these are the subshells. So and again, each and every subshell has orbitals. So s has a one, and p has three. And D has a five, and F has seven, and so on. These all are the orbitals. So each and every orbital has a shape. Have you understood? So each and every orbital has a shapes. So hence we can call it as the shapes of the orbitals. So in the orbitals, you can see the finding of electron is maximum. Okay. So this is the main important thing. Now let us move and discuss each and every topic about S, P, D, and F, and how they are, what they way, how the electrons move, and so on. Okay. So first one is the S orbital. So S orbital, the shape is spherical. So here you can see the shape of the S orbital. It is a spherical. It is a spherical, and it is a unidirectional, and only it has only one orbital. So in the previous slide, we have seen the S orbital has only one yes uh, s subshell has only one orbital okay so and it has a l l is nothing but angular momentum quantum number it, has, it is equal to zero here you can see the all the time whenever there is s you can see there is l is equal to zero here the l is equal to zero and uh, magnetic quantum number that is m subscript l is equal to zero here also you can see zero so this is about uh, s okay s orbital so here the probability of finding electron is same in all direction why because it is spherical if it is spherical you can find electrons in all directions okay so this is about s orbital okay now let us start about our discussion on uh, p orbital so the p orbital the shape is dumbbell why because if you see here it is looking like a dumbbell okay that you see in the gyms or wherever it may be so the shape is dumbbell and it has the directional properties. So here you can see they have the particular direction. So this direction or this direction or in this direction. So these all have the directional properties. There are two types of there are two lobes, two lobes on opposite sides. So this is one side, this is another side. Means there are two lobes that is also opposite to each other and which is separated by the nodal plane. So and next there are three degenerate p orbitals. So the question is what is degenerate orbitals? They have the same energy. Okay. So hence we can call it as a degenerate p orbital. So here you can see the you can take the example of the p orbital only for the degenerate orbitals. So they are px, py, and pz. These are the t degenerate orbitals. They have the same energy. So hence you can call it as a degenerate orbitals. So for the p Okay, for the p orbital, the l is equal to 1 and ml is equal to 3 values that is minus 1, 0 and also the plus 1. Okay, so we will discuss with the help of a chart uh, after the slide. So the probability of finding electrons in the node is 0. So this is the node. Okay, this is the node. Here you can you, you cannot find any electrons. Okay, but you can find the maximum number of electrons on the opposite side means in this side, in this side here and also the here so in these directions or in these regions you can find the electrons maximum that they are nothing but they are nothing nothing but anti nodes okay so this is about p orbital now we let us discuss about what is the l l value and also ml value okay so here you can see here 
the L and also ML angular momentum quantum number and also magnetic quantum number. Here you can see wherever you see the P orbital, here you can see the P orbital, the thing is it is always one, the value is one for L that is angular momentum quantum number. So and it has three values for ML that is minus one, zero and also the plus one, three values. So here you can see in this chart also, here you can see uh, in this uh, slide you can see ML is equal to minus one, zero and plus one, okay. So this is about uh, the P orbital. Okay, now let us move to another slide that is the D orbital. So in this D orbital, the shape is double dumbbell. Why? Because here you can see two dumbbell-like structures. So two dumbbell-like structures, okay, whatever it may be. There are two dumbbells, so that is a joint. That, uh, that to there are total of five orbitals. So those five orbitals, nothing but dxy, dyz, dzx, dx square minus y square and also dz square. So these are the five orbitals. And also if you count the total number of orbitals in the D, then also you can find the five orbitals. So these are the names of those orbitals, five orbitals, okay? So they have the size, they have the shape, etc. So these are identical among the degenerate orbitals and also degenerate or orbitals are nothing but they have the same energies and also here they are identical. So the value of L that is nothing but angular momentum quantum number is equal to 2 and also uh, magnetic quantum number is total of how many? 3 plus 2, 5. So there are total of 5. Okay. So these are the shapes of the D orbitals. Here you can see with the help of the chart. So the D, the D can find total of 7 okay minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 so total how many 5 5 are there for the magnetic quantum number and for the L angular moment and quantum number the value is 2 in this slide you can see here so that is L is equal to 2 okay so this is about D orbital and uh, next is the F orbital so in the F orbital the shape is complicated so the shape is complicated so you cannot you don't have to study all the complicated shape of the f orbital and hence some amount of information is information is necessary for the f orbital so that is angular momentum quantum number the l is equal to 3 means you can find three values so what are they so wherever there you wherever you see the f whether it may be 4f or uh, anything so wherever you see the f orbital you can find there are three the value of l is equal to 3 okay so now see here the ML, so the L is missing here, so magnetic quantum number, okay, L is equal to how many total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, so total there are 7, that is 7 magnetic quantum, the value of the magnetic quantum number for the F orbital is 7, so you can count all these, so they, these all are 7, okay, so and also it has 7 orientations, these 7 orientations are fx whole square minus y square and fy that is nothing but whole x square minus y square fz that is x whole square uh, x square minus y, y square fx y z and fz cube and so on these all are the orientations seven orientations of the f orbital okay and we have discussed about this table in the previous lessons also that is giving complete information this, this table is going to give the complete information about number of shells number of subshells, their notations, and the maximum number of electrons in each and everything and so on. So this table provides all the four quantum numbers, that is nothing but a principal quantum number, angular momentum quantum number, magnetic quantum number. So it is going to provide three quantum numbers about uh, how about their values and the number of electrons and so on, everything, okay. And I hope this lecture is helpful to you and also you can uh, subscribe to our channel also click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications on new lecture uploads and you can li like our uh, video and share and comment so your comment is very important to us so that uh, with the help of your uh, valuable suggestions and uh, feedbacks we will improve a lot in providing uh, valuable education content okay and we will discuss the next topic in the next list